I brought a white boy right here one time. He got scared. He never come back right here. How treacherous and hot is this block? It's hot. I ain't gonna lie. Anything can happen, bro. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G. Welcome to A Town, baby. Whoa! 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 I want a guy. Whoa! Whoa! Niggas don't know. Niggas don't know. Niggas don't know. Damn. Niggas don't know. In today's episode, we head to a treacherous hood on the border of Denver and Aurora, Colorado. We tap in with Chinatown Runner, a rapper who's been making a name for himself with singles like Pressure, On One, and Su Wu, each generating a million plus plays on YouTube. Arguably the biggest rapper in a city, China's turned his life into Lights. an inspirational story. Hailing from Burma, a country now known as Myanmar, he spent his childhood deep in the jungle surviving in refugee camps. His people, the Karens, a minority group in Burma, have long been under attack from the Burmese government. Burmese soldiers have spent decades hunting Karen people and burning their villages to the ground. So when China was nine years old, his family took him to America to seek the American dream and the promise of a fresh start. He was plop. Look where you at now, gang banging. All these opportunities over here. I mean, yeah, you get caught up in the wrong crowd, but hey, to each his own, I guess, my guy. Turn it up a little bit. Up into Section 8 housing in a community filled with crime. A product of his environment, China got into the streets and soon began to rap about his life. Today, we hit the block with China and his crew and explore some Colorado trenches. Let's begin. Colorado? Aurora? Aurora? Folks, we're in the beautiful sunshine state of Colorado. Here to meet up with one of the biggest rappers in the state, Chinatown Runner. He said they're gonna be waiting in the alley. He said the block is hot. And I don't know if he's referring to the weather or to the activity in the area. The hood is something that people are just endlessly fascinated by. Like you grew up in that spot, a spot that is really dangerous, notorious. It's like when you watch Animal Planet, you don't watch the domesticated sheep in a barnyard peacefully getting along. You go watch the lions, the gazelles chase after each other. There's something That's about a good point. drawn towards conflict in a sense or towards the, the line of danger. It is crazy. We've done probably dozens of these. Niggas by love now, violence. You still get a tad bit nervous. I don't get it. But niggas love this. Exactly you're walking into. But this guy's been making. Low key, I'm victim to it. I'm gonna be real. Like when I moved out here, little lamb. With no action. And I hated that shit. Like, one no action at the basketball games. But once one day I went back to South Garland. What's the first thing I see? Niggas fighting. Niggas fighting. I loved it. I fed off that shit. Making absolute hits. We gotta give Chinatown Runner his flowers. This guy, he's buzzing on his own accord. He has millions of hits. He's got that super gangster feel to his videos, and I'm excited to meet him. What's your word, bro? What's up, Tommy? Good. What's the name of the crew you guys got? Shit, it's the zoo, bro. The zoo? Yeah, Why yeah, do they call this place crazy. the zoo? They go crazy, man. What is this place known for? That shit, bro. Colfax is over here. I ain't gonna lie to you. There's all types of shit around this place. We gonna show you, man. We gonna see. This is the part of A Town, you feel me? Chinatown is on the outer side. Uh, across the street from and you're the one that called Chinatown Runner. Yeah. Are you Chinese? Nah. Big up, bro. We get we get legit here, here, bro. Hello, Asian, bro. Shout out my African niggas. You feel me? Big up. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can make it through it, bro. This nigga saying nigga. Actually, whatever I say, they ain't them niggas is not gonna stop saying that shit. So I might as well shut the fuck up and play the fucking video, right? Yeah. Oh yeah? yeah? Where are you from? Only yeah. ones that get a pass from me yeah, is Latinos. Yeah. Damn, so when you were very young, well, she was reckless and chaotic. Yeah. Yeah. This is going on to this day since 1992. What's going on in Somalia right now? There's no government, no like control, you feel me? Everybody yeah, fighting. Where are we money. from? These motherfuckers talking about the street, bro. This ain't nothing, bro. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, we from yeah. the real we jungle. Through war. Oh, we came hey, from yeah. war to another war, bro. How old were you when you came here? When I was about nine, you feel me? I came out here. We're from the real jungle, like war zone. We're in the refugee camp, but still in the jungle, in the border of Thailand, Burma, you feel me? Just like what bro said, over there there's no like government system set up for us. It's like war zone 24-7, you feel me? But yeah, like we said, bro, out here, this ain't nothing, bro. We're from the real war zone, you feel me? I heard this a playground me. for us, bro. So you're from a Karen refugee camp? Yeah, Karen refugee camp, Correct. you can search it up, bro. Longest civil war in history, you feel me? Still got going on right now, yeah. too. Yeah. To this day. Let's take you up to speed on the Karen refugee crisis. For many years, Karens have been oppressed under Burmese rule. Great Britain colonized Burma and many Christian missionaries were sent into the jungle to spread the message of Christianity into the villages where many Karen people lived. During World War II, the Karens used this war as an opportunity to side with the British against the Burmese who chose to side with Japan. They viewed this as their best option for gaining independence and escaping oppression. However, this was the final 
straw for the Burmese. They began a campaign called the Four Corners. This entailed forcing the Karen people off their land, completely cutting them off from resources, and regularly terrorizing their villages with tactics ranging from mass murder to torturing civilians to overall just making sure the Karens never got any wind in their sails. The result of this was a mass exodus of Karen people that fled Burma and they set up refugee camps on the other side of the Thai border. Eventually, many of these folks got opportunities to migrate to other countries and that's why the United States have many Karen pockets sprinkled across the country. I'm talking about every night you, you, you heard a bullet flying through your ears. Talk about mud houses and shit. Oh, yeah. Bro. Like, that shit's real, bro. Huts and shit. Was it hard because Karen became a slur for a white lady that was mm. causing trouble and being rude? That's Karen, you feel me? Yeah, Did you ever Karen. feel like you got confused in nah, that? No, no, no. In the hood, you feel me? We know, you feel me? Have you ever met a real life American Karen? Oh, yeah. No. What do you I mean? mean I, bro? Seen, I seen on social media. But shit, they in Colorado. I've seen it. I've been down to Texas, you feel me? I went to phone with that. They racist. You've had a bad experience with a white character before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Okay, this is you. What part of Texas? What part of Texas you went to? You came to Dallas, bro. You ain't check in with me, man. Dallas is my city. I run that shit. Real talk. Come on now. Come you on. think the U.S. is racist? I feel oh, yeah, like everybody racist. racist. Bro, especially oh, yeah. until we like refugees, you know. Wait. Especially you think the U.S. is racist? I feel oh, yeah, like everybody racist. racist. Bro, what do you mean everybody? No. I see. No. No. Not me. Yeah. Me, I love like, all people. Jews, you know? Not everybody, my guy. We couldn't speak no type of English, you know. Did I wear the wrong color to this photo shoot? Nah, bro. Am I, 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 I anything? Like, niggas don't be tripping over a color like that, bro. Bro, I be telling niggas that. I be telling niggas that, like, I ain't gonna lie. When I was in middle school, I used to be like, false claiming and shit. They be like, how you claiming grip? You wearing red, like, bro? That color shit don't mean shit, nigga. Even my brother told me that, and that nigga deep in the streets, nigga. That that color shit, like wearing colors, that shit don't mean shit, bro. If you really bitching, as long as you don't wear the flag, the other flag color, then that's when you have problems. Trip over territory, that's it. I've been watching your shit on YouTube. I appreciate it. Had your baby too. Congratulations. Thank you. It's beautiful having a kid, dude. I got three kids, bro. Dude, I've changed so many diapers. I'm a diaper professional right now. Damn, we only five minutes into it. You got three kids and you still in the streets, my nigga. At some point, you got to want to change, bro. I don't know how old bro is, but at yeah, some point, bro. Right See, now, I got three kids. Right now, I some have the 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. shift. So when he wakes up and cries for milk, I wake up 3 a.m., put the bottle on the warmer. When he wakes up, dude, he cries so fast where he's like, basically, if I had to translate his cry, it's, give me the f***ing milk yeah, I'm right now. Man. So I have to, like, sprint, get the milk ready, and then I feed him. But during the day, it's really cool. Like, yeah. I, we yap All with right. each other, we laugh, we have a good time. Yeah. I'm a father to myself, too, so. How many kids do you have? I got one kid. Too. Okay, so I can predict how many baby mamas you have then. Mm -hmm. One. That was an easy guess. <laughs> guess mine. Three yeah, kids? I guess how many baby mamas? I'm gonna go two. Oh, yeah, you. Woo! The baby mama treating this nigga like he <laughs> fucking. It's not going good. Are you good with any of your baby mamas? Yeah, yeah. The, my second one, I'm good with her. That's my best friend. You feel me? What'd you learn from the first baby? It's always mama that first one. That you got to change your approach and have a better relationship. What was the difference? The way you communicate, you feel me, and then just the way you know, just the way you live, live having a kid, you know. Mm -hmm. What's something you learned about yourself being a father? For being a leader, you know, yeah. being a leader. Tell your kids that doing this and doing that is what's wrong and what's right. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. free Chino, you feel me? Right. Free low, yeah, yeah. free. Drill. Hey, uh, free salsa. So -so. Free more money too. You right, yeah. Yeah. Free. Is there anyone from that group that honestly shouldn't be freed because he's a little reckless? Hell no, 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 no. Hey, you got anything all right. Oh, uh, innocent. You feel me? Until you proof of guilt. Come on now. Oh, so they got trial. Bro. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, when that happened and a few guys, yeah, yeah. you know, going to yeah, trial, boy, did man. you people like group together and get Low money key? for the lawyer? We try to do that right yeah, now. You feel me? It's like Low key. This is because you proven guilty. Don't mean it's just like, don't mean you really guilty. Unless you are Kelly, nigga. You did that shit. And P. Diddy, you did that shit. But other than that, bro. Just because you guilty don't mean you guilty. Like, proving guilty don't mean you really guilty. It's just, it wasn't enough evidence to show that you was innocent. So, yeah. Like 50 bands, they facing some first degree. For the lawyer, it's 50 grand, or to bail them out, it's 50 grand. Just for the lawyer, just to bail them out, it's all cash, two million. Two million? million? Oh, yeah. If you came up with two so million, could you bond them out? 200. Yeah, but it's, that's a crazy that's 200 bands. Money. I want to ask about your haircut. Yeah. What do they call yeah. it? Yeah. Give, turn around that's the Edgar. This is what I'm talking tail. about. Yeah, that's that's the Edgar tail. with the rat tail. How old were you when you got your first face tattoo? Yeah, I don't, I don't even remember. Don't I don't keep remember. track. Nine? Nah, not nine. I started getting tattooed. Was like 13. Did you drop out of school? You got expelled, yeah. You got expelled? 
expelled? Yeah, I got expelled. Can you tell me that story? Fresh in high school, I got attempted murder and they expelled me from Denver school, Denver public school, so I went to the A, you feel me? I came to the A, they expelled me in the A. I, I just Who the hell you trying to kill in high school, been, school been bro? Here. Why are you beefing? How many places you get expelled from? I was like four, five. Yeah. That's intense, the attempted murder. What was the story behind that? Like that? Shit, it just, you know what I mean? It was young and reckless. Are you trying to get this nigga, yo? This nigga trying to get him. Don't don't turn in the flag, Tommy. Don't turn in the flag, please don't. That's all. I move different now. You feel me? Nah, you know, you know, you know, shirt, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me about the shirt. That, that, that is shit. My little brother passed away 15. I mean, I guess oh, by the shirt that he lived a really risky lifestyle. Yeah. That's almost more guns than you can possibly <laughs> shoot at one time. All of them Glocks too. He was a boxer before he was a Golden Gloves. Won yeah. All kinds of belts. I think it was a champion. Beat your ass. Yeah. He passed away in a car accident. Oh, so he didn't die oh, in the street. Damn. I mean. <laughs> Sorry about that. What has that been like? Like, because when you lose a family member, it's like you're living in a dream afterwards yeah, for a little yeah, bit. Like, it's yeah. strange. Because then I lost my pop when I was 18. And the longer it goes, like, the harder it is to kind of remember his voice or, like, remember different things I did with him. Yeah, it's still hard. I'm still, you know what I mean? Pushing through it. That's my little brother, so it is. My Be grateful for what you have right now today, bro. You know, all that stressful shit, man. You know, all them bills and shit. Tell your family you love them, cuz. Real talk, you never know who's gonna be gone tomorrow. My aunt and uncle, they, they lost a son, and they haven't been right for the last 20 years. Like, it still is affecting them. I guess, what do you do to try and move on from that? Just try to take care of my family, family first. Like, who's Jennifer? Oh, that's just a mistake. Oh, is it like mistake? a early girlfriend of yours? Yeah, yeah. Oh. How long did you meet her before you got a tattoo of her? A year and a half. How long Would y'all get y'all girl tatted on you? I get my boots tatted on. It be it right? be in Japanese when motherfuckers can't read it, just in case shit don't work out. Yeah, Tell you that. So you're gonna laser it off. Yeah, That's nah, a smart ass logic. Skyline, Think about it. Across my neck. Is it hard to get another girlfriend when you have another woman's name on your neck? Oh no, nah, well I have a wife, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. What did she say when she first met you and saw Jennifer? What did she say? She still don't like it. Shit. Do you guys yeah, listen yeah. to that Usher song, A Town? Peace up, A Town. I know what the that shit is. What do you guys listen Peace to? Up. That's not local. Bris, are you feel me? I look, yeah, Anyone got a verse? Hey, big ass good. I feel like I got a bazooka. Badass bitches. I feel like I'm in and out hooter. We roll through your butt like a motherfucking scooter. We gon' shoot shit on like some motherfucking true hey, rapper. Hey, hey, so hey, young hey, and I have me no sooner. Hey. She said my dick big and long. She had to measure that shit with a ruler. Deep in the water like a motherfucking scuba. Hey, you fuck that? That, that shit hard. You had some lines that really made me laugh. I like that. I just feel like some niggas don't need to freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas don't need to know how to freestyle, but you can rap though. You feel me? You can write down your shit. What's up? Hot it's hot, I ain't gonna lie. Anything can happen, bro. Is there anything what? active I should like is there anything happening? Nah, you good. Nothing you recently has gone down? Nah, nah, nah. So I noticed that people are kind of on on the lookout. Nah, you good, bro. You good. Straight, bro. I'm from this cup, man. I'm from any history to this area right here? Yeah, a lot of kids go Asian down right here. Hey, bro. All the, all the refugees come over here, yeah. bro. Hey, this is all Damn. refugee section. Hey, you feel me? That's crazy. You came straight out of the jungle to the zoo, bro. Of all places in America, how'd you guys land in Aurora? Yeah, niggas get sponsored back then, you feel me? Come over here. Sponsored. Just made a way. So when you got put in section eight, were you grateful about it? Were you angry about it? What'd you feel about getting put in section eight? Shit, yeah, it was better than the jungle. I guarantee you, these America, they, they should be grateful though. Why should Americans be grateful? Hey, they got everything. It's a land of opportunity. I, I like this nigga's not lying, bro. This nigga's speaking real good. Yeah, cause I could do every mu hey, everything that a white mother could do. You feel me? So the American dream is possible. That's what I mean. Hell you yeah. left a life of in the jungle of war and chaos. We just gotta stay locked here in. And then choose the street life right. and kind of get chaos back in the life. We don't choose it. We get placed in section eight. Our is trying to make it out like everybody in the section eight. That's it. So a product of your environment. Yeah. If you got placed in the suburbs, you think your life would be way different? Oh yeah, probably. Look, they got a real homeless problem, bro. It's cool though. We love our city. Hey, come on. Wait. Uh, it's kind of okay. Homeless. They got oh. in section eight of street life right. and kind of get chaos back in the life. We don't choose it. We get placed in section eight. Our is trying to make it out like everybody in the section eight. That's it. So a product of your environment. Yeah. If you got placed I'm in the suburbs, trying to understand that answer. Be way different. Oh yeah, probably. Look, they got a real homeless problem. Them, it's cool though, we love our city. Hey, come on. Uh, it's kind of a little homeless camp. Yeah. 
there's more of like back there too. Yeah. They be standing up over here. They have to move, you know? Has it always been here or has it increased over time? I say it started increasing. And how has that impacted the community? Damn, a lot, bro. Because a lot of you people, like, I literally grew up with them. I'm and how they end up here, you think? It's like, this is all we ever knew. Nobody taught us better. But us, we trying to change that, though. It's East Colfax. Tell them about it. This road in America, you feel me? Environment change, bro. All that shit changes. It gets wilder and wilder. Look at her. Look, look at that shit. So, hey, son. wild up, bro. Hey, pass me the glamour slide. Who wants more? Hey, and I know for fact they ain't gon' blow. Stay inside. Bear my blood, and we outside. I'm in the pole. Hey, yo, the third most dangerous state in the U.S. right now? Colorado. What do you think about it? Every summer it pops off. You gotta get those damn shit been here. Why is niggas like take pride in the having the most dangerous state, the most dangerous city? Like that's that's not a flex, my nigga. It's not a flex. The weekend no. before last, shots, straight shots. Yeah. Niggas be happy about that shit too. Did at least one person have Tighten a up. with them. Oh, yeah, don't shit, don't we don't know, bro. Okay, I don't know. Uh, I ain't gonna tell you. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Just you know you safe. good, man. Don't really, you feel me? Pop out here like that, bro. They we do be everywhere. You feel shit. me? What do you wanna do with your music career? Shit, trying to make some bread, like you said, run us some bad. You feel me? Bond the bros Sorry. out. Hey, just make it out like everybody else. Do you feel like it's harder to make it as an Asian rapper and hip hop? Yeah, but hey, we're gonna do this shit regardless. Yeah, what's important to you? Shit, play my part trying to make it out of the hood, you feel me? Put my brothers on, get out of the way. I'ma buy my hood. You wanna buy those Section 8 bills? Hell yeah, I'll buy it, you feel me? For my people. Ain't nothing nice out here. What do you think happened to that home across the street? Oh. Used to be all run down houses, man. You got homeless sleeping in them. Did you rep Denver at all? Man, I put on for Denver everywhere I go. I've been here my whole life. If someone hasn't heard your music yet, what's a song they should listen to? Yeah, I just recently released uh, For Me and Dance Mood. Check it out, you feel me? I got she listen to it. hitting me up, but uh, I, I, I listen to it. Why is that? I'm trying to do this shit on my own. You feel me? Label. Is there any amount the label could tell you that you would make it worth it for you? If the contract is right, a meal up front, you feel me? I'm, I'm there. Just don't get in touch with that Diddy nigga, bro. You'll be all good, bro. But yeah, we in the alley right here, Chinatown. What's the makeup of the area around here racially? Uh, Asian and African, you feel me? All, all from the refugee camp, you feel me? What about the honkies? What the f is that? White boys. Uh, what? Nah, I brought a white boy right here one time. He got scared. He never come back right here. Really? <laughs> yeah. But hey, it's like that, though. I've been what in happened? the neighborhood, you feel me? Uh, what do you think about it? It's good. Hey, that's a lifestyle, you feel me? Where you want to be at, but... Eventually, you want to move to a white neighborhood? Definitely. When you playing golf with the white folks, you made it. Oh God. That's word of my guy Johnny. I'm about to say, why you put Johnny down? <laughs> you feel me? Where we from? When I say the jungle, ain't no houses out here like that. Bro, we live deep in the jungle. You feel me? It's deep in the forest. It's like a rainforest. How yeah. many people in it were in the village? A couple hundred thousand. You feel me? And were these guarded by guys with guns? They got like soldier or rebel. That's what they call it. You feel me? With like AR and shit, but they protect the border type shit. <laughs> I got a good fact for you, bro. Yeah. This right here that you standing on, this used to be vacant lot, bro. Uh huh. It used to be nothing right here, none of this playground, bro. Yeah, this shit used to be came. the dirt. It looks nice. What was the process in coming to America? How hard was it to get here for your family? Saving some money, like right? Had a support family that had us come here. They supported us for a couple months. They left us, but there was this lady still. You know, she still supported us. Still made sure we're yeah, here today. You know, she still helps us and everything. Somalia, you know? East when, Africa, when you right? were in the refugee camp in, in Kenya after you left Somalia. Yeah. How long did it take? To be approved to come to America. I ain't gonna lie, I was young, but oh, the stories Kenya, my mom tell me she, it took her a long time. They had to flee, wait on paperwork and all this stuff. But, but since 2003, we were like the first generations to come to this place. Like I said, my apartment was in that corner one right there. The first came to America. Do you know what it was like for your family? Like when they got the news, we're coming to America. What was they, that like? They were happy. You know, they yeah. were like, everybody was happy. Everybody was celebrating to come to America. And now that they're here, is America what they thought it would be? Low key, nah. They, you know, sometimes <laughs> it's because of them not speaking English or anything. So it'd be like English barriers and stuff. But, you know, most of the time I'm here to help from my parents. So, like, all the time. Was English your first language? I uh, know, Mizugua. I still speak that language. To How do you say Speaking. big dogs got to eat in that language? Chose na chidi mbafu nangande kulu. Yep, I got you. Big, big dogs gotta eat in that language. Chose na chidi mbafu nangande kulu. Yep, I got you. Big dogs gotta eat? Yep. Hey. So what? That's so hard. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yeah. Oh, zesty, you say? You're from Colorado? Yes, sir. How are you? Oh, man. I've been watching you everywhere. I appreciate that. Good meeting you guys.
We got an election coming up. We got three candidates right now. Trump, Biden, RFK Jr. Who the guys fuck is vote? that? Shit, <laughs> yeah, nah. I don't know nothing about that, that politics shit, yo. Cause you're felon? I can't vote. Yeah. That's up there, don't you think? It is what it is. To be honest, most felons don't really care about voting. Do you feel like your voice matters in this country? Yeah, it should, but it don't. And what makes you feel that way? The way the system works. It's all old ass people in the political office, nigga. That's what I know. Whatever we say ain't gonna matter. Like, you feel me? That's why I shut the fuck up about that shit. It's all wrong. After this interview, just go drive around, like, pass, like, a couple blocks down that way. You just gonna see nice-ass houses, bro. Like, you feel me? Hey, free P. The guys that are facing time, how long are they facing? Got one nigga facing three life sentences. And he's only, like, 19. And another nigga facing one life sentence. If you could send a message to him right now, what would you say? Keep your head a mile high. Always. Is it possible to visit them in person? Yeah. You can see them face to face? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm about to see my nigga GB. Free GB. Nigga Park Hill. Woo, 104. How far is the prison from here? Two, three, two and a half hours, three. Is it one of those maximum security places? Hey, top max security is in Colorado. Come on now. I'm free Chavo. Hey, free Chavo. Hey, what nigga Park Oh. Oh. An inmate at the Weld County, North Weld County. <laughs> hey, Soso, you know what time of G is? Yeah, what's up? Hey, nigga, the nigga, the nigga, the nigga here, here right now, and we recorded right now. Nigga, we talk live, your nigga. shit. Talk your we shit. We live, bro. Hey, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? What have you been up to today? <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm in jail right now, dude. I just got six years in prison, man. Oh, yeah, he just got six years in prison. Yeah, bro, free my nigga. <laughs> I want to celebrate that. So now I'm not having fun. I go back. What do you do when you're trying to have a good time in prison? Like, what do you do for fun in there? Shoot guys, play cards. Okay, you gamble a little bit. Yeah. You know, watch TV. When you got sentenced, did you get depressed? Did you get angry? Did you get frustrated? Did you feel like it was fair? Like, what'd you feel about it? I mean, I signed up for this, bro. I knew what I was doing, you know? Right now, we're at a park, and there's tons of little kids running around playing soccer, and they're looking at this group, and they might be influenced. If you had a message for the younger kids out there, what would you say? Do your own thing, man. Don't be doing something just because everybody else is doing it. If you're doing it, you either you be good or you be good at it. What do you think you want to do when you get out? I, I think okay. I want to open up like a restaurant or something. Okay. Okay. That's a okay. good path, man. Yeah. Most niggas, most niggas don't want to leave the hood alone after they get out. You feel me? I don't, I don't get that shit. You come out of jail to go right back to the shit you was doing that got you into the jail, like. Oh. I want to have I want to have a conversation with some street niggas, yo. Differently, or is it worth it? I know hella. Is it hard to keep your head up knowing that that with that amount of time? Do you work out at all? What's the best meal in prison? Like the meatloaf, the pizza, like what's the best meal they serve there? Is there anything you want to say? Any message you have for the camera? I appreciate wait, your wait. talk, camera. Don't take chances when you swim, man. Right? Somebody snitched on that nigga. <laughs> Somebody snitched on his ass. Have a good day, okay? You look like the guy in the crew that lifts the most weight. Hey, this is my nigga. Hey, bro. We talking about it. Yeah, nigga. What happened? They're playing with knife. In prison or that happened on the streets? It's happened out here. You don't need to say specific details, but what happened in the altercation? It's depression and, you know what I'm saying? I used to have a mindset of suicide thought and all that bullshit, you know what I mean? Oh, damn. That's about it. How injured were you from that? I was bleeding off. Did you almost die? Nah. Every time, you feel me? Well, nigga, don't Okay, if the bandanas weren't a big enough clue, you guys just said Suwoo, which gives me a second clue of the group name. The group name is Chinatown. Chinatown Run. I'm gonna hey. take a wild guess and guess that this is not an organization of Crips. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, there's no, no none. This is a community, you feel me? Whole community. I like the haircut, man. Show the people what you're working with right now. You deserve a painting in the museum of that haircut, I feel like. I like it. Man, ain't so many Dallas niggas with that shit, man. Do the helicopters ever come for to see you guys? Hey no, man, we don't, we don't even we don't man we don't even want to start talk about it. You really in a session? Does hey, the police use the helicopters to patrol? Big, they're our biggest fan. And hey, watch out for the drones. Police I've never seen a police drone before. Hey, You'd be surprised. See cars. You'd be surprised. Right? Is there anything you wish people knew about Somalia that they might not know? No. We go through the struggles, man. You know, this is paradise. You know, this is paradise. What's the civil war there about? It's the government. You know, they don't got no government. You feel me? So it's just anarchy. Anarchy. Everybody wants to be the top dog. So basically, the most powerful warlord of the time runs shit until he gets taken out and someone takes his place. Yeah. So there's constant shuffling of the deck and new people taking over. Yup, and nobody gets to vote. Abdullah, what's the best signed item in the store right now? The Duchess. That's the hot selling shit right here. Three, three yeah. each, right? Yep. 
Two more. Who's that guy do the drinks? Is it with you guys? Who? That's right. Who took something? Somebody stole something? We can't let this happen. Let's go. Let's go bring justice to this man. Yeah, with the drink. We didn't pay for it. Hey, bro, y'all pay for drinks, bro. Come on. What the? Favorite, what the Favorite say that you stand on business. Yeah, he stands on business. You don't play. That what was day you a, spit, a man? direct example of standing on business yeah. right over there. I'll be like, you pack heat. Yeah. It's a good learning lesson for the youth, you know? Let's use this as a learning moment. What can you tell the youth about that situation? Shit, you feel me? If you're gonna do something stupid, get away with it. Or don't do it at all. You ever been just standing outside, I would run away. Yeah, for sure. I got yeah. on the tour, you feel me? I'm about to hop on the tour. 2024, you feel me? Summer so tour, 15 state, tap in. Congratulations. Uh, you already know, bro. Just try to put on for the people. Got a tour. This nigga got a tour. That was a white, wasn't that white oh, dude? Say it wasn't a white nigga. That's a white nigga, I ain't even white it. That's a white nigga. Or oh, a Spanish nigga, I don't know. Voice. So what? Ooh, so what? <laughs> there we go. What are you guys scared of? What's your really top fears? Too. Mine is just heights. Oh, sharks. I'll, I'll swim with some sharks. Alligators. Really? Oh, you're scared of alligators? Dude, that's a ferocious creature. And what else am I afraid of? Not eating too early. <laughs> I really don't give a f yeah, yeah, no. Oh, for real, I don't give no fuck. Like, every car I've been passing, we're like, we're, we're checking out a little bit. You just gotta be on point, you know what I mean? Never let your guard down, shit. I got two people die right here. You feel me? Long live Ruthie, long live Garden. Oh. We were just talking about our fears. Heights came up. Do you have any fears, China? Uh, losing my kids, man. I ain't gonna lie. That's a fear. Right. Losing my kids, yeah. yeah. What kind of crazy animals did you eat when you were in the jungle? I had an anaconda, a lot of wild shit. The street teach us a lot. Hell yeah, you I'm glad me? I grew up the way. This nigga had a pit in the con. Yeah. What kind of crazy animals did you eat when you were in the jungle? I had an animal. Oh, I thought he, I thought he said pit. I was about to say, nigga, what? Hell yeah, I'm glad me? I grew up the way I did. Yeah. Even though we got put in section eight, bro, that's life, you feel me? It teach you a lot of shit. Zula, you know, baby. You know, sleeping from couch to couch, shit, that shit change you. It, it shows you who you are, you know what I mean? Do you feel like the government cares about you? Hell no. Hell no. They that's trying to buy our shit. That's why it is the way it is. Like, well, like we were saying earlier, if you go across over there, none but fancy shit. You come over here, it's poverty. You know what I mean? When you see our country sending money overseas to support wars, that shit, weird. Yeah, it's bullshit. Talk it's your bullshit. shit. What do you think? You know how much money we can be spending for violence. people here? You know what I mean? Them on the like there's how many this, homeless people in Denver. Dollars. What do you think about that shit? Because we've seen a lot of crazy areas. It's mm -hmm. crazy that we're not investing into our own places first, but we're funding bombs in other spots is more important than funding our own shit. That to me blows my mind. Yeah. 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 How much a pack of eggs is now? It's just ridiculous, bro. Like all that, that shit to uh, Ukraine. That's why a fucking bag of eggs is nine fucking dollars at the store, bro. That shit's real. To feed four people, it's at least 80 bucks, bro. For real, it's not no joke. If American people woke up, we would know. Would you ever vote for Biden? Nah, hell nah, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. He made us go through a struggle, bro. He made us go through a struggle, man. All this bullshit been going on because of him. Everywhere I've gone, the streets love Trump. Yeah, bro. Uh, nah, no, for real. I don't love either of them niggas. West, you know, which side, which side? We're on the east side of Colfax. Oh, I almost had west side. Yeah, nah, shout out the west side though. Oh, yeah, well, we're on the west, east side, man, this is east Colfax. Is there a beef between east and west or they get along? Nah, nah we, we get along. I like hearing about yeah, peace and there. harmony in the neighborhood. I think that's yeah. good, where's that? Shout out detectors. Oh, really? Yeah, hell yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a building with those on before. So when that happened, the police come right away? Oh yeah. How long did it take for the police to come by? Probably like five minutes, man. That's fast. Damn. Fast. Five minutes is a long time. Uh, yeah, I guess a lot can happen in five minutes. Yeah. yeah. Gonna go on up. Buddy finna go on up. If you were mayor, what would you do in Denver differently than it's being done right now? Oh man, you know what I really would do? Mm. I would open the this door. This nigga must be not top gun. To song, but to all, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't discriminate and I'm not prejudiced. I will open up more art galleries and more art schools instead of letting these, letting these kids and these guys that don't have nowhere to go paint it for free on these buildings. Give them some canvases, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Gymnastics, you know what I'm saying? All that kind of stuff. Soccer, all that. Something that's gonna have the kids motivated and stimulated to do things when they get older, you know what I'm saying? So they can be bolder than what they are now. And art's beautiful for a kid because it helps them experience creativity and they find what's unique about themselves. When you make your own version of art, I believe everyone has a little light inside and if you 
refine it enough and let it shine, like you might be a sculptor or a rapper. Or a, right. You might do different kinds of art. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I like contemporary art. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just that hands-on man. You know what I'm saying? Just so hard. I'm a hands-on man on all. What type of art do you do? I like music. I like contemporary run it, run it, run it. art. What's on your playlist right now? Tupac, Snoop. You're an old soul. Four day with no kids, man. Four day with no kids. Four day with no kids. Just my kids right here. Four day with no kids is rare these days. Right. Right. I wish I would. Absolutely. Do you ever want to get married? From what? Get married before. What was you. that like? It was cool. It lasted 12 years, so I was blessed until it was over. That must have been really tough. After 12 years, how long did it take to recover from that? To be honest with you, you never do. You never do. <laughs> it's just something Damn. You want to do a shot? Sure. Unk, spin some wisdom. And live in life. Hey, come on. Would you say you're a happy man? Definitely, bro. I, I live life day by day type shit. What was the youngest you were when one of your friends passed? I was like eight, and then I was like, something that happened down this alley, you feel me? That shit like, you were eight years old when something happened? Yeah, like, but at that time, I didn't, I didn't think of it like that, you know? Or something was, happened. Yeah, it was like really something happened. I'm like, oh. After that, like, the first real close one, I'll say he's amazing, you feel me? That's like the bro's brother. So, yeah. boom. All right, so you fellas, you took me through A-Town. You took me through the zoo. I had a good time learning about your neighborhood, <laughs> meeting the people. I got his music linked in the description. Blow him up, comment, big dogs gotta eat. You guys got millions of views independently, which is really tough to do. Any final thoughts? Tap in, fuck. All right, folks, love you guys. See you next week. Peace. I'm going to take a visit to Colorado. Touch in. They're my peoples for real. I feel like they're my peoples. I feel like I'll fit right in with the screen. Niggas real talk.